G'day mates. How's it going? I am back. We're playing Pokemon today. Oh my god, this coffee is so hot. Oh, holy crap. Uh, where is it? Which one? This one. Bro, I have so many things. Uh, okay, everything's good. I'm going to turn the sound down because that's going to give me a headache. Okay. So, what have chill day? Play some Pokemon. Uh, don't ask me why, but for some reason I want to play this one. I have no idea. Just felt like it. Uh, oh man, I can't get my brain right. I haven't slept at all in like. How long has it been? I think it's been like 32 hours? Something like that? Yeah, something like that. Uh, my dog has had a really bad case of the runs. For the last two days, probably. Maybe a little bit longer. So I've had to deal with that. Um, and it comes more of a night time, so I haven't really been able to sleep. I've had naps, like 30 minute naps here and there, but if you ask me, I think they do more harm than good. Where is that? There it is. Need this. So use the gummy for the next two hours. We're going to try and get as many encounters with this as possible. But other than that, I'm I'm fine. Just a little worn out. Shut up, Starlies. We haven't found a Starly shiny yet either, have we? God damn it. Okay. First encounter? No. Nah, we're never that lucky. How's everyone else's day? I hope it's been good. Better than mine, at least. Oh, I really want to drink this coffee, but it's so hot. The thing too is the dog doesn't want to be sick. So like not sleeping for like nearly two days straight makes you cranky but you can't get cranky at the dog because it's not his fault so like i i'm cranky right now but i have nothing to vent that at <coughs> i'm not even cranky that he has the runs i'm just cranky that i have no sleep It was between this or the Shaman Hunt. Um, oh, okay, I have to push up. That's annoying. And uh, I decide on this because I, I kind of really want to get this. Because then we can like start playing this game.
Yeah, tomorrow we're probably going to play more Dragon, Dragon's Dogma. Hopefully I can sleep. It seems like he's like nearing the end. Um, this is probably too graphic to talk about, but I'm going to talk about it anyway. Um, at the start, it was completely liquid. Um, in the middle, it was like more sludge and then now it's like there's a solid and then it's like sludge it's like there's a cork if that makes sense so i think he's starting to get better uh i have no idea what brought it on but this happens every so often especially with him um and it always stems from like he ate something like out the back and they have been like sniffing this one patch of grass a lot so i wouldn't be surprised if something died like a lizard or something and he ate some of it i guess i don't know but this isn't new i'm kind of like used to it at this point because it happens to him a lot he has a sensitive tummy Meanwhile, my other dog is just a garbage guts. Can eat anything. So yeah, I'm sorry if I'm low effort today. I don't mean to be. I don't have the energy. And the problem is I still want to stream. Like, I think, I don't know if it's a problem or not, but I want to stream all the time, even when I'm sick. And like, even when I have like chronic migraines, I still want to stream. And I probably should. But I have to like force myself to not stream when I'm like in pain. Which is quite bad. But I just enjoy it a lot. It's fun. And you get to talk to all sorts of people. So what's not to love? I thought we had done a lot more encounters than this. And then when I set all this up for this morning, and seeing that we'd only done 550, it actually kind of surprised me. Because even though these are slow, they also still feel kind of fast. If that makes sense? It doesn't make sense, but yeah. I don't know. Strange. I think it's mostly strange because when I was not streaming and shiny hunting for Turtwig, I think I could get through like like nearly 2,000 encounters or something in a day. If I really just did it all day. So I don't know. Now it just feels strange that. Okay. Now it just feels strange that I've only. Done 550. Are all my games crashing? What's happening? Is it my switch? I'm going to clean my glasses real quick.
Ow. Okay, we'll clean. That's better. Oh. Why does all my stuff keep crashing? Like, this just crashed. Uh, was it shield? Yes, shield kept crashing. The sword was fine. What's happening? I don't understand. I had no problems with these games before. Now all of a sudden I'm having problems with like all of them. And I don't get it. Strange. Brief goes. I really have a bird count the way. I mean, I think I planned on setting it up if we found one. I was just hoping we were going to be lucky and not find one. If we were lucky, we would have found it already. Oh. I just remembered. We haven't changed the... We haven't changed the fucking setup. Hold up. Random number generator. And then, how many was there? Is there 19? Why do I feel like there's 19? Maybe there's more than that. How many is there? Uh... Oh, there's more than that. 24. Okay. 24. Generate. 11. Ooh, great. Okay, I'm going to save it again anyway. Just to be safe. Okay. Little change for this stream. I gotta remember to do that every every stream. Bro, you think you're used to the chibi shit, but then like some of the angles. Just remind you how bad it is. Like, uh... What's that motherfucker's name? Not Callum. Callum's... Kalos. Crap. What's his name? May. No. I'm trying to think. What the fuck is... Ah, oh, shit. It's Dawn and... Crap. I don't remember what his name is. Anyway, he looks really weird when he walks up to you. I just remind you that this chibi art style is fucking stupid. I guess you guys can see it this time. It's like as the professor and him walk up, and I think the professor tells you to move. I think that's why I noticed it. His head's really weird. I don't like it. God, I wish I could choose Turtwig. Not this stupid penguin. Like, there they look fine. They don't look too bad there. Even when, like, the professor turns around, he looks fine. But it's like, whatever that kid's name is. Rowan. Yeah, that cat. Look at it. Right there. He looks so fucking weird. Lucas. I never got that in a million years. Remember me? Yeah, I remember you. G'day, Shannon. 
I was just talking about how weird that guy's head is. Like, they look fine from behind. Yo, I just realized how weird our rival's hair is. What the fuck is going on? This crazy bedhead. Come on, penguin, do it. Dying. You stay normal, stupid bird. Ah, screw you. No one likes you anyway. You want to twig? Can't. The people decided. Everyone voted on the penguin, so we have to get the penguin. If it was up to me, I would do Turtwig. Because out of these three, Turtwig is the best. And I'd say Piplop's probably the worst. Empoleon's cool, but Piplop sucks. I think Piplop looks stupid. How do you even get your hair like that? Sorry, folks. But how old is Lucas? No one time reset. We click on Turtwig. Nah, can't. I'm a man of my word. I told everybody I would pick whatever they wanted. <laughs> can't go back on it now. Stuck with the dumb penguin. But, on the plus side, I can get whatever I want during the game. Doesn't mean I'm going to get it, but... I could. You never know. I don't think there's more options for fire types in this this version of the game. Because you can go underground. By accident. Nah, it goes against everything. I can't. Like I said, I'm a man of my word. I don't like lying. But pretty much everything I say is, is the truth. Because I find lying redundant and stupid. Most of the time it helps no one. So, I don't really cheat. I don't even like looking at, like... If I'm stuck in a video game, I try and just work my way through it. I don't like looking it up. I to get through places. Uh, Crap, I didn't mark the thing. Where is it? Come here. I don't think I chose... The only thing I chose for this game was my hair so far. Oh, I didn't even choose that, did I? No, I chose my name. I think I let you guys choose my hair too. I haven't chose anything for this game. I'm trying to figure out what's the weirdest thing about 
Kojimi thing. Is it the fact that his head's so big? And then like the rest of him is so tiny? Like his backpack is so tiny. In comparison to his fat head. And their feet. Their feet are weird too, actually. Their feet are massive. Wait. Bro, the more you look at this GB thing, the more it's stupid. Who thought this was a good idea? Come on, give it to me. No, you, I don't care about you. Ah, screw you. Penguin. Holy crap, it took like 20 minutes to do 10 encounters. I wonder I'm only at 5.50. But these encounters take forever. Penguin. Uh, it does have a name already set. I can't remember what it is at the moment, but I can Google it really easy. It's uh, we decided to name it after one of those one of those gay penguins. There's like a penguin couple, and they're gay. I can't remember where they are. I can't remember which zoo they're in, but yeah, there's like a gay penguin couple. And we were gonna name it after one of them. Just because I typed up famous penguins and, and they came up. I thought it was interesting. So it does have a name. But you know, it's been months since I started this, so I've forgotten at this point. But after that, anything else we catch, like. You guys could throw names at the wall. I'll pick one. But this is a shiny only Nuzlocke, so... It'll probably be a while before we find something else after this guy. So much dialogue. These kind of look like ice cream. Is that just me? Am I just going insane? But what if it's female? So what? And I've known a couple girls that have guy names. What's wrong with that? Me and my auntie share the same name. We're different genders. I can't see any issue with it. I think on Power World I have a uh, female pal called uh, Dennis. And saying that too, it probably won't be a female. I think it's very unlikely. I think it's... Crap, what's the ratio? I think it's like 70-something male. I think. Could be 80-something. I remember. I just remember it's really high in favor of the male.
Is it weird that, like, his briefcase left, like, a permanent scar on the earth? Like, grass doesn't grow where he placed his briefcase. Was that the case before he placed it? Because it kind of feels like he placed it there and it destroyed the grass. What kind of toxic material is his briefcase made of? Penguin? Stupid penguin. Does anyone like the penguin? I, like, the monkey's the favorite. But it, is it close between Turtwig and, and Piplop? I've never looked it up. I hope it's not, because this penguin sucks. Yeah, he has a weird head. The more you look at him, the weirder his head looks. Asleep makes you feel like you're going insane. Yeah, stupid penguin. I kind of want to put fancy ball things on my balls, but I haven't tried this and tried that in this game, and I don't know if it like. I think in the previous game, if you put that on a Pokemon. You couldn't put it in the box. You had to like take all the stickers off and then you could put it in the box. So I don't know if it still works the same. But if it does, then I don't really want to put stickers on it. But if it doesn't, then I might. And we can make it look like he's farting bubbles. Oh, I don't know if uh, you watch anime, but I've been getting into a lot of romance anime recently, and I I don't know why. Just for some reason, I've been just enjoying it. I don't usually watch romance. I'm more of like a shonen or an isekai. So it's kind of like new and there's a lot of romance stuff I can watch which has been pretty fun. Yeah, that looks fine. I was just checking something. I've been like super in anime recently, which is weird because 
I don't know. I think I go through stages. I watch anime a decent amount. And then I might like stop for a while and watch normal TV shows and movies. Watch that for a while and then stop. And like, I read a lot of manga. Hey, Lynn, how's it going? I was just saying, I've been watching a lot of romance anime recently. Which I don't typically watch. But I've had a lot of anime to watch. They're catching up on stuff. Good. That's good. Yes. Wait, what happened? You're sick. Oh, I can relate. The last th three weeks, four weeks, I've been in and out of being sick. Has not been fun. Now I gotta go out tomorrow to the shops. Which actually kind of scares me. Because, uh, knowing me, I'll probably get sick again. Which will suck. What? Please, ZA. Oh, am I excited about the new ZA game? Eh, kind of. I am excited. Um, but what ruins things like that for me is I've been staying off Twitter and like YouTube. Because I don't want to be spoiled on anything. And people can't help themselves. YouTube's worse, I think. Because people do a lot of... Uh, thumbnails that are spoilers. And th there's one in particular that say... They tell they say they, don't tr they try not to spoil the people. But then majority of their thumbnails have spoilers in it. And it... It's annoying. Chew. I mean, I can kill it. I'll kill it this time. I don't mind. I hate this stupid penguin. So yeah, by the end of the week I might be sick again. Which will suck. No spoilers in YouTube yet. Well, I don't, I wouldn't have clue. I've been staying off it. I haven't even been watching, like, normally I watch a lot of YouTube, like, daily, pretty much. I catch up on the people that I like watching daily. And, ah, oh, crap, I forgot to kill it. Okay, remind me this time. Fight it. Oh, that was a bit too late. So cute. Oh, I hate it. Turtwig. Turtwig is the best. But, yeah, I haven't even been, like, watching the people I watch daily. Just to stay off it. I also didn't want to be spoiled for Dragon's Dogma as well. That was another reason. Which didn't matter because I still was still on TikTok. And every so often things kept popping up on TikTok. And it was annoying me. I stopped using TikTok too. Not a chew. I'll kill it this time. I promise. But like, I am excited. Um, what makes me excited about it as well is the fact that Gen 6 is probably like my favorite. Well, either favorite or second favorite out of all the gens. I absolutely love Kalos. So it would be fun to go back. See exploded. I'm amazed mine hasn't. I turned it on this morning and it was crazy loud. 
pen hasn't been that way on a while. Like, my PC's old. I think it's like... When did I make it? Twenty... When did I make it? 2011? 2012? Something like that? Yeah, it did. Why did I play what? PLA? What's PLA? I need a reminder. Oh, Legends Arceus. I'm planning on it. And I was going to do shiny hunting, but that's not enough for me. So I'm going to shiny hunt only alphas. That's my plan. Uh, but I have to set it up first. But I do plan on playing it. So much damage. You know it. I'm tough. Can I sneeze? I don't really sneeze. If if you hear me sneeze a lot on stream, like I, I normally mute it, but if I say I'm gonna, like I'll tell you beforehand that I'm gonna sneeze. If I do that a lot, uh, that's usually a good sign that I'm getting sick. But then when I am sick, I don't sneeze. It's just like the build up to getting sick is when I sneeze a lot. It's weird. I'm oh, saying that though, when summer comes, I get crazy hay fever. I have sinus. I mean, we all do. I mean, like you have a sinus infection? I'm going to go touch with you. are not a penguin. Or a turtle. Question mark? Fuck you, penguin. Goes again. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I don't sneeze a lot. When I sneeze, it hurts. Like, it hurts my ribs and my chest every time I sneeze. I don't know why. It always has. So I like, I actually don't like sneezing. I don't like having hiccups. But I'm pretty good with hiccups. I'll have like one or two, like, oh, hiccup once or twice, and then it's gone. Also, if I have to get up abruptly during stream, um, I was explaining it earlier on, but I'll say it again. My dog has had the crazy case of the runs the past two days. Uh, and when he needs to go, he needs to go. So if I have to get up really quick and run off, that's why. And that's why I haven't slept in like 32 hours. Please, when I sneeze. I... I've, the only time I've ever had a bloody nose, ever, is when I got into a fist fight and my nose got broken. That's it. I, my nose has never bled. Other than that. It's strange. I don't know what I hate about. Massive mass outbreaks. I have Growlithe. Perfect. And while doing Growlithe outbreaks, I found a shiny Arcanine first. Well... You know what's funny? Um, and people don't believe me when I say this. You, do you remember when that person found out about... Uh, crap, what's its name? The ghost? That they found out that if you go to the that place at night after you've found all the things, that ghost has a chance of being shiny? Come on, what's it? Spirit Tomb. Spirit Tomb has a chance of being shiny. I watched that video and was like, wow, that's cool. Literally a couple days later, it happened to me as well. 
because I never caught it. I just traded it over from a different game to get it in the Pokedex. And then, like, I think like a month later, I flew past a um, Spirit Dome outbreak, decided to just kill them all, and the next wave was Alphas, and I ended up getting a shiny Alpha one too. The, the only thing I liked about the massive ma mass outbreaks, I liked the mass outbreaks at the start. And I, I didn't update my Switch for ages after they brought out that update. What is it, the Daybreak update or whatever? Because I didn't, I was like you, I didn't like the massive ma mass outbreaks. I thought they were stupid. And I liked the way they were. Um, but then I did update it and I actually didn't mind it. The only reason is because it was easier to get alpha shinies. That was the only reason. Other than that, I don't really like them that much. I preferred it the way it was before. Also, if we do do a... Uh, Doo-doo, that's funny. If we do do that... And it's only shinies, and it's only alphas. I will also only catch shinies for the people, you know, you gotta give Pokemon to people in town. I will also only do shinies for that as well. Um, and I think from testing, I don't think you're able to give the, the, the guard that wants a Wurmple, I don't think you can give him an alpha. I think I tried because I wanted to see a massive dust talks hanging out and it wouldn't let me give him an alpha. So I just got to find a normal shiny wormple for him. But I know you can give the Buizel guy an alpha. So we'll probably end up shiny hunting a shiny alpha Buizel for him. Just because that's easier than trying to find one that's big enough. So yeah, we'll also give all them people shinies too. So there's gonna be shinies everywhere. Yes, that's my name. What's up? Good question. Or two. No, I didn't mean that. Crap. Bro, I'm only gonna stream for two. I already said I'm only gonna stream for two hours. Are we gonna make it to 600? It's going so slow. It was crazy. While open presents by jumping belly flat on them? Is that a question or are you telling me that? Are you asking me if that's how they open presents? Because I would say they don't belly flop. I would say they slap their tail. And that's how they open presents. In saying that, I watched a video the other day of a walker, like, tail slapping a fucking shark and flung it out of the water. It was crazy. Those motherfuckers are insane. They played fucking beach volleyball with, like, or what is it? Water polo? Is that what it's called? They play that shit with, like, seals and sharks and crap. They're insane. Got any more? I've got more answers. Is it strange that both of us have blonde hair? And we don't know who our dad is? In this game? Does that make you kind of think that... 
that we're like siblings. And Barry's dad smashed our mom as well. Is that weird? That's why he ran away. That's why you don't see him. See my dad or his dad. Because he's ashamed. Cheated on his wife. And had a love child. All makes sense now. Oh my god, this takes so fucking long. But how long this takes. Bro, it's gonna be like years before I find this shiny. Especially my luck. I will say, I don't think the dog's gonna... I don't think he's in trouble anymore. He seems fine. Seems pretty comfy. So I don't think I'm gonna rush out. Or you think they could have changed the color of our hairpins? Like, the yellow probably stands out if you choose black or... What was the other color? Blue? I don't remember. But like, when you're blonde, it doesn't really stand out, does it? It's kind of weird. They could have changed it. Fuck you, penguin. Maybe die in hell. I mean, I love you. We're going to be the best of friends. What's a good water type that I could swap it with? I mean, we're not going to swap him. We're going to keep him forever. He's going to be very useful as a meat shield. Wait, he probably could be a pretty good meat shield. He's, he gets the steel typing. Ooh, yeah, he probably could be a great meat shield. Wait, does is he still su super weak to grass and electric? If he gets the steel typing, how does that work? Does he kind of resist them at that point? He might actually be a good meat shield. I think wouldn't do that. Maybe electric. Maybe electric becomes neutral, kind of. No, metal conducts electricity, doesn't it? That wouldn't make sense. I don't know. It's still going to be a mid shield either way. I'm not sure if I ever... I may have used the penguin, but I don't remember if I've uh, actually actively used him. But I may have. I have played Gen 4 a lot. Oh, the shinies torment me. And his next encounter. Okay. What happens if it's not? God, his head is weird. Wonder if there's anyone who likes this chibi art style. Like, chibi in 3D doesn't work. Like, chibi in the 2D style 
that's fine. When you make 3D, they just look weird. There we go. I haven't even found a shiny bird too, that's kind of strange. <gasps> you lied to me. How could you do that? I trusted you. How could I ever trust you again? Now our relationship is built on lies. Oh god, the dog's moving. Are you okay? You don't need to poop, do you? Where are you? Okay. What's happening? You can tell me. I'll listen. Not that. Tracy. Good day, Tracy. How's it going? This one? Okay. Are you willing to build our relationship on more lies? I laid down. Okay. I guess he just wasn't comfy where he was. I mean, I think I've said this every stream at this point, but he, when I stream, he moves around a lot because normally when I'm on the computer, he sits on my lap. Um, but because of the microphone, he can't really sit on my lap while I'm streaming and it annoys him. So he's like kind of restless a lot. That's probably also what happened. Also, by the way, he's a 45 kilo dog, so he's not small. So having him sit on my lap is not the best. He's really heavy. Yeah. Stupid penguin. Lied to me again. How will he ever, ever come back from this? There's no way back. God, this takes forever to fucking come back. God damn it. Like a range. Oh god, the other one's moving now. Are you okay? Why is everyone moving all of a sudden? What do you want now? I can't patch you, I'm playing games. Oh, you're so needy, dogs. Yes, yes, good girl. Yes, you. There's a good girl. Okay. Is that enough? Okay, I guess it was. At least they're not barking. That's good. Saves you guys' ends. Oh, I can't fucking yawning. <laughs> I'm so gonna have like the best nap after this stream. It's gonna be great. Since he's like kind of calmed down now. Alt pip? I can beat him to a pulp. 
mean, I wish I could, but maybe I can get the no. The bird won't kill me, will it? I think I think it gets you to a certain health and then it runs away. So I can't even get the bird to kill it. God, game sucks. Ruining my dreams. Okay, come on, penguin. Fuck you, bird. I don't like you. Ah, sh stupid penguin. You're not even. It's not even a good shiny, too. Bluff. <laughs> you got it correct this time. Like, the shiny for Pip-Pop is kind of stupid. I will admit, out of the three, the monkey definitely has the best shiny. But pip -Lops is definitely the worst. Oh yeah, I don't I don't remember if I mentioned this on stream. But like a month ago, a kookaburra Well, it was on the veranda and then the dog scared it and flew in our house. Uh and it was freaking out because Ben was stirring it up. Uh and it got stuck behind like a what do you call that thing? Like we have these things that cover our windows. I don't, I don't know what they're called. Shades? Kind of? Um, you got stuck behind one of them. So I had to like grab it and pull it out. And it bit the fuck out of me and it hurt. But after I got it out, I got to like pat and play with a kookaburra. It was really fun. Uh, and then I just let him go. Which was cool because kookaburras are like one of my favorite birds. I'd say probably his second favorite. I like owls more, but yeah, it was fun. But holy shit, did it hurt? It it bit me a bunch on the hand, and I had like bruises, and it uh, panda like got too close to it and was snapping at it, and it bit her on the nose. And that was pretty funny. Didn't hurt her, but it was kind of funny. I'll show you a picture, because you guys probably don't know what a kookaburra is. Um, and it'll also like show you how big their beaks are. That's not a fun thing to get bit by. Kookaburra. Uh, image. Yeah, god, they're so cool. Um, okay, I'm just gonna mark this because I'm probably gonna forget. Uh, and then I want to go here. I want to go. That one. Add sauce. Boom. Kookaburras. Look at them. I got to play one of these. Also, they're not they're not small either. They're like the size of like average owls. They're pretty big. Like look, there you go. They're not small. We have a veranda just like this. That's strange. That feels kind of creepy. But yeah, they're great. One flew in our house. He looked a lot like this one, actually. His blue was like very, very vibrant. But yeah, he bit the fuck out of me with his long ass beak. And the other problem too is, uh, I don't know if you can tell, but at the on their beak, can you kind of see it like curves down? Yeah, there is. They kind of like curve down. So when they bite, they like twist their head and yank. Holy shit, it hurt. But it was like one of those things where it's like once in a lifetime kind of thing. Because you don't usually get that close to kookaburras. They're very like cautious. 
with people. Unless you've like... Like those ones sitting on the veranda where they took a picture of it. They've probably been like feeding those things. Since they were like babies. And that's why they're so comfortable like... Chilling out so close to them. Hey, I got to play with them. It was pretty fun. I think that was. I think that happened like either the week where I got sick, or like a couple days before I got sick. But yeah, that was a great time. I played with a lot of animals. Now that I think about it, like play, play with a uh, wallaby when that jumped in our backyard. Um, play with water dragons. Like these are wild animals. Uh, I didn't get to touch, but I was like probably an arm's length away from a uh, goanna. I was like feeding it ham. Done that. Which probably wasn't a smart idea. But that was fun. Okay, Donovan, how's it going? Talking about some animals that I've played with. I've played with snakes. We have two snakes as pets. I've played with plenty of snakes. Good, that's good. I played with crap tons of spiders. I haven't seen a huntsman in a while. Like, there hasn't been a huntsman in my room in ages. Since Bruce. Well, there was those two that were in here after Bruce, but then they haven't been back. There's a lot of daddy long legs. There's one sitting on my desk. He's like connected to my microphone and my computer monitor. Just hanging out. On possums. I've touched plenty of possums, not by choice, because they fucking attack me. They're, because they're little pricks. On the sugar glider. Play with the sugar glider for a bit. It's not dead. It came back after Panda attacked it. So he's fine. But he was slow, so I think he was hurt. Because I managed to grab him. What do you want to do that? What? You saying why why would I want to do that? Or play with animals? Because it's fun. Where I live we have all sorts of animals around here. The main thing I see a lot is possums. Like we have a lot of possums. Um and Australian possums are compared to American possums are cute. But they're just as nasty, if not more. Those things are vicious little fucks. They're, they're like our squirrels. What are you on? Do you mean console? I'm on the Switch. Is that what you mean? What do you mean, like, what drugs am I on? Because I'm on none. I'm Australian. <laughs> if that helps. Oh, Wombat. I played with a Wombat too. It came in our backyard one day and it just like got stuck for a while. I played with it for a bit and then I helped him get out. He was fun. Big old slow Wombat. Yes, yeah, by drugs. I'm on nothing. I'm just Australian. I guess I can use that as an excuse, kind of.
Yeah, I had a, I had a huntsman spider in my room for like a couple of years. I think it was like two years. Close to it. He just hung out in the corner. His name was Bruce. I think I touched him once when he fell on my desk. And I quickly grabbed him. And he bit me. And I put him back on the wall. And then shortly after, I, I think he went and had babies and then just disappeared. Venomous animals? Huntsman spider aren't venomous. They're non-venomous spiders. And we have two snakes. They're just carpet pythons. They're not venomous. Water dragons aren't venomous. Possums aren't venomous. I mean, they could have rabies, but like, most of the time they don't. Wombats aren't venomous. We have a lot of animals that aren't venomous. See your point? Yeah. But in saying that, uh, a platypus, just so you know, does have poison. They have like little poison toenail things. But if you get spiked by it, it causes excruciating pain or something. So even though they don't look like they're venomous, they kind of are. Pip up. Hopefully. Not. It hates us. It's torturing me. But see, I, I, have, was born and live in Australia. Been here my entire life. I'm used to animals. Um, in Australia, you're raised if you see a spider, as like a huntsman, unless you're a woman, because they freak out, even here in Australia. But, um. My mother and sister weren't that scared of spiders. They still aren't. They don't really care. They're more scared of cockroaches. Um, so if we ever saw like a huntsman spider, we were always told to leave it because it gets rid of mosquitoes. Right? Um, now growing up with my dad as well, he is like me and my brother. We're not as scared of grabbing the spider with our hands. And taking it outside or like touching it um and he always like would grab the spider and then have us touch it to get used to it um when i was young he had a tank full of scorpions we had scorpions as pets so like that too we've just been used to being brought up with all these things that you guys freak out about but to us it's completely normal same with snakes. We've always had snakes as pets. Is it hot there? Not at the moment. It's starting to get cool. Summer's like in the end. Summer for us is around like end of October, November, December, January, February. That's, that's around summer for us. And that's when it's at its hottest. And it sucks. Like, we had a pet bit of dragon until about a year and a half ago, I think, was when it finally died. But it was old. Like, it was really old. Like, it was old when we got it. And we then we had it for, like, nearly 10 years, I think. But yeah, he was great. Like, when my dad was younger, my uncle brought home a pig. Well, they thought it was a pig. Um, and my nan was, like, very lenient. So if they brought home animals. They were just allowed to keep them. Sorry. I turned into a piplop. That's okay. You're allowed to do whatever you want. But, yeah, they brought home animals all the time. Like, my dad, I think it was my dad, he brought home a baby joey. So they had, like, a kangaroo for a while. But my uncle, he brought him a pig, and they ended up having to get rid of it when it grew, when it fully grew, because it was a bush pig, which is like a bull. So it grew giant tusks. <laughs> but yeah, my nan was like fine with them keeping 
things like that all the time. And my uncle was the worst. He used to bring home all sorts of shit. He brought home a goat. He brought home a pig. He brought home a uh, a galah. Like he brought home all sorts of shit. I'm from the US. I figured. <laughs> the minute that you started freaking out about me talking about having spiders and stuff as pets. I will say though, probably one of the best pets I ever had was a rat. Get a leak backwards. How's it going? Hell sounds a bit too hot for me. <coughs> hey, we, we've pretty much done the same thing though. Growing up. We just brought home all sorts of random shit. My brother still does it. He brought home some turtles a couple weeks ago. This is fucking still weird. I'm alive. Well, that's good. Be a bit hard to write when you're not. But yeah, I think I think the rat I had when I was younger was probably my best pet I've ever had. It was great. It was trained like a dog. So like, it, its cage that it would sleep in uh, was never locked. The door was always open, right? And it would walk around the house just like a dog. But whenever like it was tired, it would sleep in its cage. Whenever it wanted food, it would go back to its cage, things like that. But whenever it was walking around the house, it was always walking around the house to find me. Then when it would, it would like crawl up my, the leg of my pants and it would come like sleep next to my crotch because it was warm. And it used to like hang out in my in my pockets, on my shoulder. Like it was great rat. It was, it was trained like a dog pretty much. Used to have showers and stuff with me. Uh, and it never once chewed any cords in the house, ever. And I tell people this, they don't believe me, and then my mother has to back me up. And even she doesn't understand or believe how we managed to train it like that. I don't either. Want the damn shiny? Yeah, pretty much. You like Chatot? The bird? I don't. I'm not a huge fan of birds, in general. Like I was, I was saying earlier, the kookaburra is my favorite bird, probably. Well, at this point, yeah, probably. I probably like it more than owls, now that I think about it. But, yeah, most birds, I don't like them. I hate a lot of birds. I find them annoying, to be honest. I've had a lot of birds as pets growing up. All different types of birds. We had a pet magpie. We had a pet... Uh, we had a bunch of budgies. We had a bunch of cocktails. We had a galah. Um, what else? What's that other thing that we had? It was, like, it was like a type of parrot. I don't remember what it was called. But we, we've had a lot of birds. So I know how annoying they are. You could probably ask me, like, if I've had certain animals as pets. I probably have. We've had cats, dogs, rats, fish, mice, birds. Like, we've had a lot. Lizards, snakes, spiders, scorpions. My family is a big, like, pet family. That's why I have two dogs at the moment. <laughs> I want a quail. They're alright. They're really, they're quiet. They're good. Um, but they're really quick, just so you know. Uh, and the last quails we had was when we had like a veggie garden in the backyard. They love to nest in that, just so you know. If you have like a veggie garden, they will try and like nest in between it and stuff. Running cod camos or chatting with you? Okay. 
not really into COD, but a lot of people are. My nephew likes it, so. There's too much trust in your rat. Well, I think it was like, I was young, and that was the first pet that was my pet, if that makes sense. So we like had fish, and we had a dog, and we had a cat, and things like that. But they were never like mine. It was like the family's pet, you know what I mean? So when my mother asked me one year what I want for my birthday, I said I want a rat. Actually, I think I said I wanted a dog, and then she said, well, we can't get something that big. And we went to the pet store and was looking around, and she was going to give me a mouse, and then I saw the rats, and I wanted a rat because it was bigger. Um, so I picked out a rat, and it was like a weird... It was albino, but it was also weird because like it had its red eyes, but it was white, but also had brown on it. So it was kind of albino, but it wasn't. It was weird. But because of my first pet, I pretty much treated it like a dog, pretty much. And it just went everywhere with me. Like we would go to the shops and the rat would just be in like the pocket on my like shirt. Or, like in my hoodie pocket. And it would just be hanging out while we're doing shopping. And it would never poop in my clothes. I think it pooped around the house, but because they were like little pellets, it was easy to pick up. But yeah, no, whenever it was like in my pocket or whatever, it would never poop or pee. It's like it knew. I don't know. But yeah, a lot, a lot of the times when you get your first pet that's your pet, you do put a lot of trust in it, especially when you're a child. Just because you think, like, well, why would it leave me? <laughs> Wish I could meet them. Oh, that, that rat is long dead. It's probably been dead for... Oh, crap. How old would I have been? I think I got it when I was, like, 10-ish. And... I think I was maybe, like, 15 when it died. Something like that. So I had it for like five years. But it died because uh, we let someone look after it while we went on holiday. And their dog ate it. Because they weren't looking after it. G'day Amelia, how's it going? Mixed races. I thought so. No. It happens. I can't really blame the dog. I blame the person who wasn't watching it more. I don't know if it was mixed races. It was just like... They had a bunch of albino rats. I've never looked into it. But why still had red eyes it was like the only thing that was albino about it was its eyes it was strange his name was milo because it reminded me of milo and i also found out recently that it was a it was a female because i'd never seen a male rat i guess but i didn't know that male rats have gigantic nuts like to to the point where they're incredibly noticeable which makes me think back to my rat and like it never had that so she was a female didn't even know she got big too no clearly like no thanks also i can't see the likes so like if it hits 10 someone has to tell me black and white at the same time which well, wasn't black she was like she was white, like the majority of her body was white, right? But then like on her back where like tail and butt was, like above her tail, had like a patch of brown. And it just reminded me of like, you know when you have, you do a Milo. And it's like that, you got the milk and then you got like that bit of brown on top from the Milo. It just reminded me of that. Also, I was a child, and like I immediately just named it the first thing that came to my brain.
But at some point, I do want to get another rat as a pet. Uh, but I don't think I'd be able to do that when I, with these dogs. Because my dogs are... Well, the breeds they are are farm dogs. Um, and Asta likes hunting things. He doesn't kill them. He just likes to hunt them. He likes to hunt. Um, and he likes to chase them. But Panda likes to kill things. <laughs> Like, I don't think I'd be able to have a rat with these two around. But my dogs are just fine. Right, he, he was definitely the best pet I had. Um, and then the dogs... Always second, because the dogs are just so much fun. Uh, and then third, oh, I had an Oscar, which is a fish. I don't know if you guys know what an Oscar is, but they're really, really big fish. And mine was like mostly black, but then it had like, it looked like straps that went all around its body. I had like three of them down its body that were like a crimson red. And it, it was a beautiful fish. And he got he got massive too. He was huge. And I used to feed him by hand. I'd just like grab like a what are they called? Like a worm? Cube? Like a cube of like worms. That you can feed fish. And I would like feed it to him by hand. And he would just like suck on it. Until he could like take the whole thing. Yeah, he was great. Best fish I ever had. And I'm not really into fish either. I think I, I think my mother just got it for me because she got like a deal where she got three of them for cheap because I think the guy was trying to get rid of like all of them. And she had two and I had one. Hello. Yeah. Sometimes the best pets are like the ones that find you. I'd say most of the time that that's when they're the best pet. Win-win, I guess. Yeah, pretty much. Well, I didn't think I'd like the fish. And you know, it just grew on me. Like, one of my dogs I have now, I went out of my way to get Panda and adopt her. But Asta pretty much just fell into my lap. Like I didn't like go out of my way looking for another dog. He just like kind of fell. Oh yeah, right. he likes. That's fine. I don't mind. But yeah, he, he like he, him and his mother and all of his brothers and sisters were just dumped, and he was the final dog no one wanted, and I just took him. Because no one else wanted him. And like, he's probably been the most fun dog I've ever owned. He's the funniest, goofiest, like, little guy. He has such a funny personality. Especially for a dog. But Panda's personality is also really funny. Um, and all the dogs I've had up to this point have been like, small dogs. And all small dogs seem to have, like, a similar personality, which is, like, small dog syndrome, where they're just angry all the fucking time. For no reason. So I think from this point onwards, I'm gonna always get big dogs. Like, I've... Because of these two, I've just fallen in love with big dogs. I have the laziest husky. Loud meat, yeah. Huskies, I don't think I'd ever be able to have a husky. Like, I get a lot of headaches. Like, I have one now. Um, and, like, my headaches most of the time turn into migraines. So I don't think I'd be able to deal with huskies. Like, panda growls a lot. And even that, like, annoys me.
Because like when your head is like pounding, you just you don't want noise. Wait, I have a Ender is a American Staffy crossed with a Border Collie. So she's a farm dog. Uh and Astor is a Kelpie crossed with God knows what. But yeah, he seems mostly Kelpie. But he is like three times the size of a normal Kelpie. He's fucking massive. Like Kelpies are only supposed to be like eight to it's eight to twenty kilos. I mean, uh, eight, 18. 18 to twenty kilos is what the normal Kelpies are. And he's forty-five. <laughs> like he's massive. He seems so hyper, but ours is so lazy. Well, that's good. Because from all the videos I've seen, it seems like they don't shut up. We had eight likes. Okay, tell me when we get to 10. And then you can make the new like goal. And I'll pin it. Yasta's like... He kind of reminds me of, like, Huskies. From those, like, videos and stuff. He, um, but it's only when, like, I've gone out for the day and I come home. When I come home, he's very vocal. Makes all sorts of noises. He, like, tries to talk. It's really funny. But other than that, he doesn't, he doesn't really make a lot of noise. He might bark every now and then, but other than that... Banda makes more noise than he does, but her noises are mostly just growling at things. So yeah, they're, they're both technically farm dogs. They both have a decent amount of energy, but Panda is so lazy. Probably the laziest dog we've that I've ever owned. She is so lazy. Like, half the time you, I tell her, come on, we're going to the dunny, and she, like, she didn't want to get up. She just looks at me. Me you know, is our husky, and she almost never is vocal, but she wants to use the bathroom. Yeah, my dogs aren't, aren't even vocal with that. Um, Panda just, like, comes over, and she'll just keep nudging my arm, and just stare at me. Until I'll, I'll say to her, do you want to go to the dunny? And then she quickly spins around and starts like tap, tap dancing, taps her feet at the door. So I take her out. Um, but Asta just doesn't tell you at all. Uh, if he needs, the only time I know when he actually needs to go is when he needs to poop, right? And it's only because he will hold it in to the point where he's, it's starting to hurt or like he really needs to go. So he'll sit there and he'll pant like really loud just being like <laughs> like that like constantly until it clicks to me that oh okay he needs to poop but he doesn't tell me he when he needs to pee he doesn't tell me he's always been that way I think it's because he knows that because I get up roughly every like two to two and a half hours and when I do I just take him out So I think he just knows. There's no point in asking because eventually we're going to go out. The thing they, they annoy me with, though, is food. Like, I'll feed them. We'll come. I'll come sit back down. And then they'll come and they'll get in my face because they want more food. Or they want a treat. Like, that's... That's the only reason, like, normally the only reason they harass me for things. Especially dinner. Oh god, when it gets to like, 4 in the afternoon, they like, no dinner's coming soon. And oh man, they do not leave me alone. Cause I don't know about you, but I like cook my dog's food. It's like they have rice, meat, and veggies. Like they love dinner time.
It's like a whole thing every day. But dogs make every day fun. And if you're feeling sad, they always know. They try and cuddle you. Ah, uh, broken. Yeah, me. Uh, it might not be. For me, it probably doesn't even say 9 or 8. Let's have a look. Uh, It says 10 for me. <laughs> so, I'm not going to trust it though. But yeah, it's, it's always been like that, I think. I just didn't. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's weird. I don't know. Some days YouTube is like fine, and other days, like little things like that break. If you've only got one dog, though, leak. I don't recommend getting another one. Especially if your dog is big. Like, maybe if you had small dogs, it'd be fine, but two big dogs is a lot of work. Uh, also, like, Aster is a bundle of energy, so he needs, like, a lot of exercise. So we like play out the back a lot every day. And is like so lazy. Could not could not be bothered. And uh they'll play for like maybe 15 minutes and then she's had enough. She's mid sides? Okay. So yeah, like they'll play for like 15 minutes and she come and lay down next to me where I like because I like sit out the back on a chair. And then the rest of the time, I just throw sticks and balls. He never brings them back. So I just have a bundle. That I just throw. And he just chases. And then he'll run back to me like he's going to give it to me. And then he'll run away like a little shithead. Yeah, because right? I can't take him for walks. Because uh, Asta doesn't do well around a lot of people. He doesn't like... I wouldn't even say crowds. If there's like three people other than me, it, that freaks him out. Um, and then Panda, like, she walks down the mailbox and lays down. Doesn't get up until she realizes we're going back inside. Like, I can't walk him. I have to just play with him at the back. Doesn't even care to chase anything. Oh, Panda's the same. She doesn't give shit. She wants it, and then you throw it, and then she'll take a couple steps, and then she just stops. She's like, ah, it's all over there. Hello, happy Easter. Uh, okay. I don't really celebrate all that. I don't really celebrate that. I don't celebrate birthdays, Christmas, nothing. Not into any of it. So every day of the year is the same for me. And we also have family and who's part wolf. Oh, okay. He's giant. Yeah, I don't I don't know what Oster is, but like my dad thinks he's part ridgeback because he gets this like with a ridgeback when they get angry, they get this like line that goes all the way down their spine. Like a line of fur that sticks up. And he gets that every time he gets mad. So my dad thinks he's a Ridgeback, but like, with how lanky he is, I would not be surprised if he's part Great Dane. Um, 
He's very clingy, like a husky, and his fur is very long and thick, like a husky. So, like, I wouldn't be surprised if he has husky in him. The one-year-old. Oh, the dog. Uh, Aster is five this year, I think. Five or six. And Panda's like seven or eight. She's two years older than him. And she's in a like crank cranky old lady phase. It's cranky at everything. Like everything he does just makes her mad. You just walk past her and she'll snap at him. She's a mad old lady. She's making a joke on your age. Here it is, Sam. Yeah. Oh, I'm just... I'm 30. I'm at the point where I just don't care about any of that stuff. Because it's just pointless to me. Uh, mine says 10. And... Yeah. Wait, I gotta bring all this stuff back up. God damn it. And Leek... Leek said it's at 10. So Donovan, make a new sub-goal. Oh, uh, sub-goal. Light goal. Just a random number. I just go... I just always put it 10 to start with. Fifteen? Well, I told Donovan he can pick it. Before. Just write, like, uh... Like goal. And then a number. And I'll pin it. There we go. Uh... Please be a message. There you go. Yeah, my dog's getting old. Uh, big dogs like that typically only live 12 to 15 years. But they're more than half. Reggie? I don't know. I don't get it. I'm not hit with the lingo, I'm old. I'm 30 now. I'm getting old. It's too hard to memorize all the new lingo. Ah, oh, Reggie Drago. I haven't even set that up. I completely forgot about it. To be honest. And I need to set it up. I know I went to the Crown Tundra. But like, maybe we can do a stream one day where I set it up. We could probably do that. Because I think... What do you need to do? I think you need to catch all the Reggies, right? You gotta catch like all the other Reggies. And then you can... Go to that Reggie. It's been so long since I did that. But, wait, do you have to do the story? The Crown Tundra story? Do you have to catch all the Reggies? Do you have to do the story though? Or can I just go and like do it now? Cause I think I... I think I'm at the point where I gotta go in and help... What's her name? What's the girl's name? I gotta help her with like the raids or whatever? Peony's... Daughter? I don't know what her name is. Or is her name Peony? I don't remember. Anyway, I think I'll do that. No clue. I'll have to look it up. We might set up a stream where I just do all that stuff and set it up. I think this would be the last encounter though. Uh, for today. Because I do have like a really bad headache. Probably stems from me not sleeping. Uh, boom. Okay, last one. Oh, 
But we will talk for a bit, I think. Nah, that didn't work. Okay. Fuck you, penguin. Uh, let's go over to this one. There we go. Boom. Now we can talk. Hope it gets better. Um, I've always had issues with headaches. Um, and I get migraines a lot. So, it probably won't get better. But, like, I've learned to live with it. If that makes sense. It's just that because I haven't slept in almost two days and the fact that I have this headache, I think it's just like one thing piling onto another thing. Can you shut up, fridge? My fridge has been crackling lately. I don't know why. In my family, but I'm talking about the pain. Well, I can deal with that. Like, uh, what was the last stream that I did where I had a headache? It was a really long one. Um, like, normally I get headaches, like, near the end when I'm, like, kind of deciding to end stream. That's normally, like, roughly when I have a headache. And it's only just, like, coming on. Um, But there was a stream not long ago that I did where like I started it with a headache and then I just kept going um and just powered through it I don't remember what the hell it was I do remember though that it was like really long looking back on these streams it's like reminding me what I was doing at the time when I streamed these things I think it was that Dragon's Dogma stream. The Dark Arisen one, though. Not the new one. I think it was that one. It was Dragon's Dogma, Dark Arisen, and it was day five. So it was like the, what, third last? Went for five hours and 52 minutes. I started that stream with a headache. And then just streamed for five hours and 50 minutes. But I will say I did get distracted. A lot, so when I'm enjoying a game a lot, that happens. I do get distracted and just forget about everything. Ice maker? I'm not a huge ice fan, so like I don't even like eating. Um, we have ice, what's called ice blocks over here, which is like how do I explain it? It's like water and like. I don't think it's syrup, but it's like cordial kind of thing. It's like colored water that's like frozen, kind of. I don't know if everyone else has ice blocks. But yeah, it's like that. I don't even really like them. My dad loves them. They're like hell when I'm trying to sleep. Oh yeah, but like when when I say I've I've always had them, I mean like I've always had them. Since I was like probably nine or ten i've always suffered from headaches and like that's the other thing too is i think because i call them headaches and colored ice kind of they're like they're like long they're in like plastic like you cut the top off and then you just like suck suck on it or crunch down on it and it's like flavored ice kind of thing i've had them from nine yeah but like the, I need to explain it. When I say headache, right? Because I say it all the time to like my mother and that, and um, she never understood until probably like two years ago, when I had a really bad, like I had it was bad, but it wasn't the worst I've had, but it was bad. And I was at her house, and I was throwing up a whole bunch. Um, and I had to go home. And then the day after, she rung me, and we talked about it, and she didn't know that, that that, when I say I have a bad headache, that's what's happening. I'm, like, throwing up, and, like, I can't think, can't really see straight. Uh, so when I say I have a headache, I have a migraine. <laughs> I think that's what they're actually called, is a migraine. Right? 
Um, but the worst one I ever had was I was throwing up a lot and I threw up so much that I started throwing up blood because I threw up so much. And then I got up to get water or something and I couldn't really see. And uh, I was very dizzy and I ended up falling over and I, I don't think I broke my nose, but I did smash my nose on the ground really hard and I had like two black eyes for the next week and like massive bruise on my nose it hurt like hell but like that was probably the worst one I've had and yeah after I fell over I didn't even get the water I just went straight back, <laughs> straight back and laid down that's sad uh in a way but like I've been to the doctors, I've been to multiple doctors. They don't know what it is. They don't know how to fix it. So it's just something I have to live with. Um. Also, I don't really like seeing doctors, and it's probably because I've seen so many that I'm sick of it, and I just don't like it. So at this point in my age, I don't like seeing them, and I refuse. To see them. Blood plus throw up. Blackness. Oh yeah. When you throw up blood. It's like. Horrible looking. <laughs> Not fun. But the reason I was throwing up blood. Was because like my throat was all messed up. From throwing up so much. Yeah my sister had it bad. And then rammed her. Eye into a doorknob. <laughs> that giant bruise. That's better than what I had though. When it's on both eyes, it's harder to hide. And like your whole like nose and eyes and everything go like different colors. They get brown, they get blue, they get purple. So yeah, I've just like grown to live with it. Like I'm 30 now. So I've had to deal with this for like 20 years. I'm pretty used to it at this point. And like if there's ever a a day where like sometimes I can't think properly so like I'll just write like in the community section that I'm sick but it's probably that I just have like such a big migraine that it just hurts to talk because like when you talk it reverberates in your head and when you have a migraine it's like so bad so like yeah it's hard to stream when that's happening but the headache that I have now is, like, easily manageable. Uh, doctors are never helpful when it comes to headaches and migraines. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I did find out, though, that, and it's the opposite for my sister, which is funny, but men and women produce different hormones, right? And there's a certain hormone. I can't remember which one it is. Uh, that a man's supposed to produce that I'm apparently I'm producing it but not enough and I'm also produ producing this female hormone that I'm not supposed to right and they think that could be the cause but they don't know and they don't know how to fix it right so I was talking to my sister one day about it and she laughed and she said yeah she went and got checked as well and hers is the opposite. So it's like, I don't know, We it was like replaced with, with us. And I'm producing the hormone she's supposed to produce. She's producing the one that I'm supposed to produce. It's strange. And funny. They just mix gender? Probably. Trans? I'm not trans. I am bisexual though. I will say that. I find both men and women attractive. So yeah, dealing with it for so long, I just, I don't know, I just grew to deal with it. And uh, even if I, like, if I'm on stream like this, I'm only talking about it now because, like, I probably should talk about it <laughs> and explain to you guys, like, what, it's happening so you guys know but i will not mention it 
If I have a headache, I won't mention it. Not unless it's like so bad that like it's a I uh, you know it's unavoidable. But yeah, I will never really mention if I have a headache or not. Also, like today, I was kind of low energy at the start, but I finished my coffee and I've have more energy now. But that was because I haven't slept in like two days. I have the burps. But yeah, that's not the only like medical problem that I have. I have a couple others. Oh, the other one I should probably mention. I think I mentioned it the other the other day too. I have a bad throat. Um, my throat gets worn out easy. I think that's a good way of putting it. Yeah, it gets worn out easy. Um, to the point where it gets like scratchy, and like sore, if I talk for too long. Um. That's why I'm like limiting these first couple streams to like two hours to like kind of warm my throat back up to streaming so then I could stream for longer. Because normally I stream for like five hours, three, five hours. Uh, we're just sharing our happy energy with you. I'm a very like low energy person in general. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. That's good. I have that too. I haven't played it in a while though. I do need more shinies in it. I can't remember which ones. I need a couple. My dog's got the yips. Must be good dreams. So yeah, that's the headaches and the and the throat are probably the main things that stop me from streaming every now and then. I have some shiny. I have a lot. I have hold up, before I tell you. I have an app on my phone where I keep track of it. And it can tell me in percentage. Um how many Pokemon I have shiny. Um I have 65% of the entire Pokedex shiny. So from Gen 1 all the way up to Gen 9, I have 65% of them shiny. So over half. So what's that? Like, there's like a thousand Pokemon now, so it's like 500 something shinies. Maybe 600 something shinies. I'm getting there. Nice. You need four more? Four more what? Chinese. I need a lot. I still need a lot, but there's a lot of Chinese you can't get anyway. Because they're not available. Like the damn, uh, what are they called? The Cursed? Is that what they're called? The Cursed 4? Whatever? You can't get them. So, like, there's a bunch of Pokemon I just can't get. I'll need to get it at some point. 69. <laughs> well, it's percentage based, so I need more than four. More like 40. We'll get there eventually. So yeah, if I'm if I'm ever streaming and near the end of stream I start to get quieter, it's because my throat is starting to hurt. It happened last week. I think I think it was the first stream I did last week. Back. That's why I like decided in that stream that I'd only stream for two hours a couple times.
Uh, also, I get sick a lot. Like, someone has the flu in my house, I will most likely get the flu. Like, it's almost, it's like a 80 or 90% chance that I will get the flu or whatever they got. Like, my immune system is bad. That's why tomorrow when I go out to the shops, because I gotta go buy some stuff for the dogs, um, I might get sick. <laughs> because it's like, the way the weather's been recently, it's been like hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold. The people are getting sick a lot, because the temperature is fluctuating so much. Uh, so yeah, it is a high possibility that I will get the flu again. For like the second, second, third, second or third time this year already. I've already had COVID. I think I've had COVID twice this year already. And I've had the flu like twice. So if I get sick again, that'll be like the third time. But yeah, that's mostly why I was gone for like two, three weeks. It was because I was sick a lot. Oh, and helping people. But yeah, tomorrow we're going to play Dragon's Dogma. Play some more of that. Um, also, I've decided that we're going to play all of Dragon's Dogma on stream. So I'm not going to like, because I have a bad habit of doing things off stream and like making my character stronger. And then when coming back on stream, I'm like strong already. Um, So I'm going to try and like not do that. <laughs> I'm going to try and do everything on stream. So tomorrow we'll be like traveling to that town to start doing the romance stuff. That way we can get the uh, magic spear. E? Okay. So we'll be doing that tomorrow. Um, I don't know what time stream will start tomorrow. Because I do got to go shopping. So it might be after that. So it'll probably be, I'll probably be starting around like this time. Tomorrow. Because that's like... 10 o'clock my time. But you never know. I might go shopping early. I don't know. It depends. Because I'm going with, with my mother. Depends on when she wants to go. Um, But Wednesday we'll do more Pokemon. Uh, We might do the Reggie Drago stuff. Set that up. I mean, I could do a poll. Actually, hold up. It's a poll. I haven't done a poll in ages. I like doing polls. Um, KK. Ah, oh, crap. I need to get an image. Um, I could be bothered to get an image right now. I'll just do a text poll. Um, what? What you want? Uh, okay, that's a good title. Okay, um, set up. Reggie, is it Drago? Or is it Draco? Hold up. I'll set this up and then I'll, I'll give you a link to go vote. Reggie. What is Drago? Okay, I was right. Okay, Reggie Drago. Um. More. 
Skip block. I can add four options, right? Yeah. Wait. Oh, I can add three more. Wait, you can add five when you do text ones? Interesting. I didn't know that. I have two sisters. That's cool. I have, an, I have one elder sister and I have a younger brother. I'm the middle child. Um, my younger brother is nothing but trouble. Um, what is... What are the other streams, Pokemon streams I've been doing? I don't remember. Why don't I remember this? What is wrong with me? I don't remember this. I'm the one streaming this stuff. Oh, Shaman. Yeah, we can do Shaman. I haven't done that in a while. Shame, Shaman? I think that's how you spell it. No, no, I think that's how you spell it. Um, okay, I can't do this, the shield shiny look for a while until I figure out why it's crashing all the time. Um, so I'll get rid of one option. I can't get rid of it. That's not good. Well, anyway, I'll just put it there anyway. Who cares? Uh, sheep. Um. And then... Scarlet. Scarlet 1T or 2Ts? Bro, my brain is broken today. What is happening? That's one T. Is Scarlet the, like, name? Like, female name? Is that two Ts? That could be what it is. Scarlet. Shiny. Oh. Okay, there we go. Post. Um. Copy. Here you go. Click on that and go over to the community tab. There, uh, you can vote on the poll. And have a say in what the next Pokemon stream is. War Sisters? Oh, Jesus. Are you a boy or a girl? Because if you're a girl, I guess that's okay. But if you're a boy, I feel sorry for you. I think people look at Shiny Lock. No, it's not. Because I've, uh... I got the monkey, and I got Turtwig in this game. So I know they're not Shiny Locked. Like, I know that for sure. Boy, I feel sorry for you then. Uh, My sister is only two years older than me. And she used to dress me up in dresses with her friends all the time. So I could only imagine having four girls in the same house. But at the same time, growing up with girls in the house, so I grew up with just my my mother and my father split, right? My mother's mostly been single um, the entire time I was growing up. She had boyfriends, but like never one that lived with us. So it was always me and my sister and my brother. So growing up in a house with two girls that were older and mostly dominated the house helped me to deal with women when, like, going to school and stuff like that. So, like, I'm happy about that. But it does come with downsides, like being dressed in dresses. I don't have the DLC or compelled the full game, but I have the 100, the leg dogs, a raging bolt, and gouging fire. Okay. Yeah, I'm like... I, I am trying to level, like, get all of my shinies to level 100 as well. I've done that a lot as well. 
But I have the DLC. I have the DLC on Scarlet and Violet. Even Sword and Shield. Yeah, I don't know if growing up with four girls helped you the same way growing up with two helped me. But it made me more comfortable with speaking to women. And it made it easier to talk to girls when I got to like high school and stuff. Are they all shiny? Yeah. So like I'm I'm trying to get a shiny living dex. That's what I'm trying to do. Um at the same time I'm also trying to get them all to a hundred. So eventually they'll all be level one hundred at some point. I've gotten a fair few of them to a hundred. And they all have to have my original trainer name. Like, yeah, but not all of them are at 100, but a good chunk of them are. Also, growing up with a house full of women also helps you deal with, like, female problems. I think that also helped me, like, uh, I'm fine with, like, I changed my nephew and niece's nappies when they were babies. I had no problem. I'm fine with, like, bad smells. Probably because I grew up with my sister, who was, like, disgusting for a girl. Like, did not care about leaving things lying around and stuff. So, like, I smelled a lot of horrible stuff growing up, which I think helped me acclimate to bad smells. So I'm good with like changing not dirty nappies and stuff like that. First shiny I got is Cryogonal. Uh the first shiny I ever got was Zubat. And it was in Pokemon Pearl. Well technically it was it was probably like the shiny Gyarados, but I don't I don't think that counts. Because it's like free. But yeah, I got a shiny Zubat in a cave in Pokemon Pearl. And it gave me an appreciation for Zubat and Crobat. Which I still have to this day. Still think they're great. Ghost with Stratini, that's a good one. Got them my trades. Uh, if anyone trades me a shiny, most of the time I just I just get rid of it or I trade it to someone else. Like I'm a I I want all my shinies to have my original trainer name. Like I do keep if there's a shiny I get from someone, like there's one I got recently. It's a Cinderace. The um, it didn't look like it was hacked, so I kept it. But if it's shiny and it looks hack, it's hacked in, then I, I get rid of it. Shiny Gyarados? Yeah, in Gen 2. And gold and silver. Anybody who counts that as their first shiny is an idiot. Because it's free. Technically, it's probably a lot of people's first shiny that they ever caught. But it's it's free. So it shouldn't count. Uh, my favorite Pokemon and my favorite shiny is uh, Surfetched. Green Diamond I got it on. That's good. I just so you know, um, I think there's a lot of PokeTubers that have like certain Pokemon that curses them. Mine is Magikarp and Gyarados. I have found a shiny Gyarados or a shiny Magikarp in every single Pokemon game, right? And I was not hunting them. They were all random encounters. I even found, I think it was two years ago now, I replayed Heart Gold, Soul Silver and managed to find a shiny Magikarp. 
So I've I've literally found a shiny Magikarp or Gyarados in every game without even like looking for it. Uh, and I found one in Sword and Shield like a week after I, I got it or something. It was like in the water in that first area. You know where like the Haxorus is on the that island? I was like sailing over to that and a Gyarados ran into me and it was shiny. Uh, I think the day, the second day of Scarlet and Violet being out, I had a random outbreak and I went to it and it was Gyarados and the like a few popped in and I thought, oh great, it's Gyarados, I don't want that. And I kept riding like towards it, but I was riding past it and then a shiny one spawned in. That was like the day after the game came out. So yeah, shiny like shiny Gyarados and Magikarp have like cursed me. And I seem to find one every single fucking game. And it drives me insane. Oh, I also found one in Legends Arceus as well. And like it'd be fine if I was looking for it or hunting it, but I I find them without hunting them. That's the problem. The other problem is the fact that like I only need a mag one magic up and one Gyarados, and I seem to have like fucking million at this point. Because they just won't leave me alone. It's to the point where like I don't even really like magic up and Gyarados anymore because of it. feel like a god <laughs> yeah my my favorite pokemon is is so fetched for sure so fetched is awesome i i like fighting types a lot i also really like uh sneezler's shiny i think sneezler's shiny was cool and that's my favorite from legends arceus my favorite mon in the entire game. It was awesome. I found one. Shiny one. Like, it's like first Sneasel I found. And uh, named him Seth. And then I think... The day I update, I upgraded the Daybreak patch or whatever, I found a Sneasler outbreak and I was killing him. And then I got a shiny alpha one. It made me so happy. Yeah, wait, hold up. I'll bring the folder up with all... I have a folder that I've put all of my favorite Pokemon from each generation in. Um, Because if I try and remember it off the top of my head, I probably won't be able to. Because uh, I was looking for Cheetos, and I just stick my hand in the box and somehow got them. Okay. Uh, okay, you ready? I'll go Gen 1 and onwards. My favorite from Gen 1 is Kingler. I love Kingler. Kingler's fucking great. And I like it shiny too. Gen 2, Raikou, Legendary Dog, Thunder Dog, awesome. Gen 3, Metagross. I think Metagross is like a lot of people's favorites. But Gen 3 is like not... I don't really like Gen 3 at all. And I don't really like a lot of Pokemon that came from Gen 3 either. But Metagross is good. Same here? Yeah. Uh, Gen 4, Lucario. Love Lucario. Uh, and he's shiny. He's, Lucario's normal shiny isn't too bad. But when, he, when he's a shiny Mega, oh, it looks awesome. So good. I like yellow shinies, just so you know. Um, Gen 5, Garvantula. Garvantula is like peak spider Pokemon. He's so good. I love Garvantula so much. Uh, also, like, my second favorite from Gen 2 is probably uh, Ariados. I really like Ariados as well. 
Um, Gen 6 is Sylveon. I love Sylveon. Favorite evolution. Gen 7, Lycanroc. But the Lycanroc Dusk form. The Dusk form is the best form. And it's shiny is great. And it's normal is great. I like the orange. I like Kingland Raikou. And I like black shinies. Yeah, Kingland Ra Raikou are great. Black shinies are good. Um, but yeah, I'm I don't know. I just I just have a thing for yellow shinies. I don't know why. Uh Surfetched is Gen 7, clearly. He's just my favorite Pokemon in general, but I really like his shiny too. Because it goes yellow. Um, and then Sneasler is for Legends. Sneasler is great. And then Quackoval for the newest for the newest one, Gen 9. I love Quackoval. Like I thought Quaxley was the best out of the three. Apparently I stood alone <laughs> in that camp. Not many people liked him. I thought he was great, especially when I found out he turned into a fighting type. It made me so excited to use him. And when he turned into the dancing duck, I thought it was amazing. I loved it. And everyone hates it, but I fucking love it. And yeah, he's he's my favorite from this gen. He's so good. I'm trying to get Dusk Form Lycanroc. Um, how did I I got it in Scarlet and Violet as well. But I didn't like because someone I saw there was a method where you could get a Lycanroc outbreak and then you wait until dusk in the game and it turns into the dusk form Lycanroc and you can hunt it like that. But like um, that seems like a pain to do. Pokemon or oh, Sun or Sword. Because I there is a way to get it in Scarlet and Violet. Because I got it because I caught I think it was like there, there's like a static rock rough. I can't remember where it is. But there's like a static one, right? That just spawns in the world. I caught that and then I looked at it later on, and it had the, uh, is it Own Tempo? Scarlet? Oh, okay. Yeah, it, it had, like, the Own Tempo ability. It had the ability it needed to be a Dusk Form Lycanroc. And it was the static one, because I remember it was the static one. The one that's, like, a Terror. I'm pretty certain. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty certain it was the Terror one. The one that has a Terror. If you find that one and catch that one, I, I don't know if it's like locked to being own tempo or if I just locked out. Um, but yeah, it might be locked to that. So then you can just catch that and then you just breed that with a, a ditto from a different country like Japan or whatever. Um, and that improves your odds, right? If you have this shiny charm and all that, it improves it, all that. But yeah, then you just breed it until you get a shiny one with own tempo. I think it's own tempo. Um, and then, yeah, then you just get it to, I think it's, is it 25? When it evolves? I think it's 25. And you just wait till dusk in the game. And then evolve it. And it'll turn into it. But yeah, there there is a way to get it in Scarlet and Violet. And I, I think it's a Terra ter one. But yeah, I'm I'm a big fighting type Pokemon. Like out of nine of the my favorite Pokemon from each gen, four of them are fighting types. How do you know it dusk in Pokemon Scarlet? Um I think it's like there was a video about it, right? Where this guy did an outbreak for it. Uh, but, like, I think if you look at the, like, borders around the game, you'll notice it starts to get, like, orange. Like, the sky in that will start to get, like, orange. And that's when it's dusk. 
and dusk is like i think that's that's when it's going from day to night so yeah like when the sun is setting and it's starting to go orange and i think it's like i think it's like a 10 minute window or something what i'll try and find the video hold up um how to evolve Rockruff into dusk form violet that'll do if between 7 what 7:59 p.m. real time it has the ability okay so it needs own tempo I was right that makes no fucking sense. Oh, it is 25. That makes no sense because the game fucking day changes. What? That makes no fucking sense. Um, will this video show? Uh, okay, so he changed his time and like. Yeah, you can already like kind of see it's starting to get like starting to get like dusk. There you go. Uh, follow that. There you go. There's a video. But yeah, you just got to evolve it at like a certain time, and I don't think you have a long window either. I think it's like a couple minutes or something that it stays dusk. Or it goes night. But yeah, if you find where the the terror rock rough is, then you can like get an own tempo rock rough. I haven't really tested it out since though. Because I just caught the one. I don't remember what terror type it is. Is it like ground maybe? Or normal? Could be normal. I don't know. I think it's in... Is it in... The... I think it's in the canyon. Not like in the DLC, but like in the normal game. That like canyon-y area. I think it's there, like around the grass gym guy, it's like somewhere there, I think. It was ages ago when I did this, so I'm like trying to remember. Oh, I can't stop yawning. <laughs> So yeah, that should help. Anyway, I should probably get going. I'm gonna go to sleep, I think. I'm pretty tired. So yeah. Tomorrow, Drag's Dogma. Look forward to it. I know I am. Um, I need to get that Mystic Spear or whatever it's called. Magic Spear. Job before, like... Like as quick as possible. So I don't know how long it'll take, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do that. Any more Pokemon Wednesday? Oh, okay. If you guys enjoyed this stream, leave a like. If you would like to see more, subscribe. Until next time. Er.